Gaja Mata and Gonzalo de Cordoba have officially been revealed for Rise of Kingdom. So today we're going to go over all of their skills and everything that we know. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Before we jump in, don't forget to drop a thumbs up on the video for breaking news. Okay. As we know from the other day, Gaja Mata is an engineering versatility and defense commander, and the active skill has a rage requirement of a thousand that says for the next five seconds, this commander's troop deals 10% more ranged normal damage and whenever their troop launches a basic attack it deals extra ranged smite damage to the target with a damage factor of 500 reduced by 50 percent if not within melee range of the target this looks very familiar to what we see on margaret already except she does skill damage he does smite damage a little bit boring of the active skill here but let's move on to the second skill it says 15 percent march speed 40 percent health obviously that is the stat that you would want if you're going to be attacked back as a ranged troop but i think a lot of times the ranged commanders don't even want to be hit and they would probably rather have attack and just deal the most damage possible at ranged but regardless let's move on to the next skill it says while in ranged mode this commander's troop deals 15 percent more ranged normal damage okay whenever their troop launches a ranged basic attack it has a 10 percent chance to mighty heal a portion of its slightly wounded units okay this is a new mechanic we've never seen mighty healing before we've only seen mighty shielding and there's a five second cooldown and it says units who cannot take part in battle right now but will instantly get healed as soon as they return to your city that's for slightly wounded troops they can also be brought back to battle if they're healed by a commander's skills so i don't know what the difference is this does not explain what mighty healing is um typically healing factor turns slightly wounded units back into troops that are viable perhaps mighty healing turns severely wounded troops back into troops that are viable for fighting no idea so we'll have to wait and see when he comes into the game the fourth skill says this commander's siege units gain 25 percent attack and whenever this commander's troop deals ranged to my damage the target loses 20 percent defense and 15 percent march speed for the next three seconds so uh, i like reducing defense at ranged it really helps out the other troops on the battlefield and also the slowdown there is nice because again you are at range the expertise says while in ranged mode this commander's troop deals 25 percent more ranged normal damage whenever their troop launches a ranged basic attack it is a 10 percent chance to mighty heal a portion of its slightly wounded units with a mighty healing factor of 600 okay is this just an a an increase on the okay i think this is actually just a bump up from the third skill okay so this isn't actually a brand new skill uh it looks like this is just a stronger version of the third skill it's an enhanced version of the third skill so it doesn't stack and that's what it looks like here they don't say that specifically so that's why i was confused for a moment but you will also deal extra range smite damage to the target with a damage factor of 200 so it bumps up the normal damage it bumps up the uh healing factor and then it gives you a 200 smite damage to the target um this looks very i'm gonna be honest guys first impression super underwhelming super underwhelming to me uh We'll have to wait and see what happens when he comes into the game and maybe he's got good synergy with gonzalo de cordoba let's look at his skills again we know engineering versatility attack we have pike and shot pioneer range a rage cost of a thousand deals range smite damage to a target troop and up to three enemy troops near it damage factor of 2400 reduced by 50 percent if not within melee range every additional target reduces the damage to each target by 15 percent. so this is an aoe so we're dealing ranged aoe damage factor uh so that actually can be a game changer ranged smite damage so i assume that would be in a circle so are we seeing a 2400 circular range aoe right because when you're dealing damage range it's not going to be a cone it wouldn't be a cone out in front of the of the actual unit right because you're not that would be like melee aoe you would expect ranged damage and as far as skill or smite damage it would be uh, hitting the target far away from you right um we see this in things like grand cross age of titans uh where they deal ranged aoe um and so that's what i expect to be the case here obviously if you're not within melee range then it will reduce it to two 1200 but still that could be kind of nuts guys if we can deal ranged aoe and also what shape would it possibly be in it logically it would have to be a circle right like well i don't know why it would be anything else 
um it doesn't say here but we'll have to wait and see this could actually be a complete game changer um conqueror of granada this commander siege unit gains 20 percent attack and 15 percent march speed while in range mode this commander's troop deals 10 percent more range smite damage so again stacking that with gaja Mata could be insane uh viceroy of naples this commander's siege units gain 10 percent defense whenever this commander's troop uses an active skill and has a 50 percent chance to gain one stack of the vigilant effect for eight seconds this effect can stack up to only two times and its duration resets when it gains another stack whenever their troop is hit with a basic attack it will consume one stack of vigilant to deal range smite damage to the attacker okay and disarm them for one second with a one one second cooldown okay so you can't get it back to back um this is interesting um whenever you're hit with a basic attack so i mean this i'm trying to think of how this could be really powerful obviously disarming is good it could give you another chance to run away um basically if you're dismantling your tower and you have this stacked up twice someone can hit you you disarm them then there's a second cooldown then you can disarm them again maybe it gives you a chance to run away here and also dealing smite damage to them not really sure what what's going on here but we do have a confirmation that it does prevent basic attacks order of santiago this commander's troop takes 20 percent less ranged counterattack damage okay whenever this troop is hit with a basic attack it's a 10 percent chance to gain a 40 percent bonus to range normal damage dealt for three seconds so we're getting a ton of ranged uh normal damage here but this does not uh well it's actually kind of interesting that we see a different differentiator between ranged smite damage and ranged normal damage i'm kind of uh confused there and then we have il gran capitan this commander's troop deals 15 percent more ranged normal damage if the current target of this commander's troop is not within melee range this troop deals 20 percent more range smite damage and if they are within melee range you deal 30 percent more counter attack damage so okay so i would actually rather deal the 20 percent more ranged uh smite damage i guess because the smite damage on this dude is insane so yeah i'm gonna be honest guys um we don't have the skills for the leadership dude yet but uh i'm not that excited about these two i'm gonna be real that's just my first impression i think you know you could pair them together and i mean i'm trying to think here like what would be the best i mean you would probably pair them together because they give so much ranged normal damage uh obviously margaret does as well we talked about that in my previous video if you guys missed that check it out uh, by the way i was completely correct with guessing gaja mata and uh with gonzalo de cordoba so huge shout out to everyone in the community who helped us figure that out but yeah this is I mean I'm gonna be real with you guys this is a little bit more interesting than Bobber and Margaret but in my mind like I don't really care about this at all if I'm being completely honest I really don't uh this is just more ranged more the same they changed it from skill to smite damage and said here you go um I I'm to I'm skipping this 1000 percent I'm not even gonna th I'm not even gonna think about this I might not even care about test results to be honest with you like like I, I I'll let other people do testing but like I just I mean this is so mega niche it's like a niche of a niche right like smite damage range I don't know the only thing that's exciting here is ranged AoE I'm excited to see how that works but when you're outside of melee range it's 1200 only three targets I think they did a really good job at keeping the power level reined in here um but at the end of the day I don't know guys uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these two um I think you probably will pair them together I can't really imagine any other pairing here except for like I said in my previous video Margaret gives you 50 percent more range normal damage so if you had her as the primary then there's a chance that you can also make them take more range normal damage so there could be a little bit of synergy here I guess but with her and uh with Gonzalo I think because it does confirm here that ranged smite damage is affected by bonus to ranged normal damage so that's good to know so that means Margaret's 50 percent bonus is going to make this ranged AoE deal a ton more damage whereas if you paired with Gaja Mata instead as let's say Gaja Mata was the primary then uh De Cordoba would only deal 10 percent more ranged normal damage with his active skill so yeah I think think that you would actually probably prefer Margaret primary possibly plus she has the support tree instead of the defense tree if you're trying to like deal massive damage also this guy looks really tanky and like like 40 percent health like I don't know do you want to be tanky at ranged I don't think so I don't think so although I guess okay he does give you 25 percent more range normal damage all the time whereas with Margaret it's 50 percent for a few seconds what is her uh, what is it actually here it's for three seconds but it's for the most important three seconds so 
I don't know we'll have to wait and see for people to do some testing here but again I really do not care about these guys at all um the design looks sick I think Gajamata looks dope the blade here looks fire uh I think De Cordoba looks fine he's a little bit goofy but kind of what I expected but yeah let me let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below do you think there's any pairings that are missing here do you think that there's anything exciting about this I don't think this is exciting at all this is kind of a nothing burger in my opinion um like I said the only thing kind of interesting is the range day we and we'll have to see how that works with Margaret perhaps could be some insane like massive chip damage and then you run away that could be something but I'm probably not going to invest in commanders for a little cheesy tactic like that guys let me know what you think in the comment section below while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it'll help get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video with breaking news and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace